Just like game birds, rabbits were the property of the landowner. For much of the 19th century, it was illegal for tenant farmers to kill them. So Alex has decided to take matters into his own hands, in the style of a notorious figure of the Victorian countryside, the poacher. Going out on the pheasant shoot was very much something we did with the land agent, but um, catching rabbits like this is, is, is something that you, you'd do as a poacher, you know, you certainly wouldn't want to let the land agent know about this. Doug and Bob Jones are a father and son team. They've been catching rabbits in these hills for 50 years, using ferrets. Net this all. What you do is you net up all of the holes and then you put the ferret in. And we've got a Jill, which is a female ferret. She runs around and of course she puts the fear of God in the rabbits. They shoot along the burrows and they come out and these nets are designed in such a way that as the, as the rabbit hits them, it sort of it traps them behind. Poaching was widespread in Victorian Britain and the authorities took a very serious line. Game laws throughout the 19th century were incredibly strict. Police were issued with stop and search powers, and this was an enormous bone of contention amongst the working classes. In practice, the law meant that um, the police could stop a, stop a farm labourer returning from work and um, ask him to turf out his pockets, and, and, and obviously, if they've got any traps or nets or, or even game, they could be arrested. But, of course, the police then at the time were using these powers just to stop random people and just to, you know, to check to see what they were up to and what they were doing. And, of course, this really upset a lot of farm labourers. OK, we're going to drop the ferrets in. Right. In case she's in, so quiet now. The ferret looks in every burrow until she finds a rabbit. If there's none to be found, she'll reappear. Just seen the ferret just stick its head out. That's in here. Boxer? Boxer. OK, we'll move on. We'll go to the next. Move to the next one? Yes. With dozens of warrens in these hills, there are plenty more to try. It's a bit of a hit and miss affair, really, and you don't really know where they are. Fox mac about here anyway, so that's a good sign. He doesn't hang about for nothing. No, he doesn't, does he? At the second rabbit warren, hopes are running high. See how she gets on? Can we have some quiet now, please? Don't leave it, leave it. This leave it, 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 leave it. Simple case. What there we don't we want to do is just broken the neck. It's a start, but they're hoping for many more rabbits. Okay, I'll put her in lower down. There he is, Dad. Good dog, Charlie. Good dog. All right. Good dog. All right. Dead. All right. Leave yeah, it. Yeah. Good dog. Leave it, leave it, leave it. With the warren exhausted, the final total is six rabbits. And they're quickly put to use back at the cottage. What I'm going to do is a pudding, a rabbit pudding. It's a very rural dish. Suet puddings were an absolute staple for many a Victorian family, particularly at the bottom end of the social scale. They're cheap to make and they're very filling and they're easy to make nice. You'd only need the tiniest touch of flavour and it goes right through them. Now, my pieces of rabbit are to be browned. That's just sort of lightly fried in a little bit of butter. So I'll just lay my pieces of rabbit Now for the suet crust of my rabbit pudding, I've got to make suet crust pastry, which is just flour, a little water, and some fat, suet fat. Now you need about twice as much flour as fat. This isn't posh cooking by any stretch of the imagination. This is simple food, quick to prepare, keeps you going no matter what the weather. Oh, 
fantastic whiskey. Delicious. This is your rabbit, this is. Right. I'm drooling over your dinner here. Yeah. Leftover pheasant. Leftover pheasants. Ah, that's very, very, very nice. It's a very gamey meal. Yeah. Well, if you will keep going kidding things, <laughs> yeah. you have to eat them. <laughs> Great delight in eating the pheasant because he's eating our crop. Yeah. Rabbit's nice. 